Welcome to the Determinator training video. This video will provide you with all the necessary information that will help you get through your period of time that you must have an ignition interlock installed in your vehicle in order to drive. Remember, any vehicle that you drive in your state during this period of time must have an ignition interlock installed. The determinator is set to prevent you from starting your car from anything from a 0, .0 tolerance level up to 0 .08, depending on the laws in your individual state. The determinator is wired into your vehicle's ignition system, preventing you from starting your car until you have provided a positive air sample. The total time involved is under 45 seconds. Now let's begin. Turn on your ignition and the system will say, please wait. Please wait. After a few seconds of warm up, the determinator will say, please provide a sample. Please provide sample. At this time, you will give a short blow, then suck in, and then blow steadily until the continuous tone stops after about six seconds. There are two different air pressures that you must provide. The first one is a higher pressure, and the last one is a much lower pressure. And that will be determined by tones that you will visibly see coming across your bar. After successfully providing a sample, it provides you with a digital readout of the results. And hopefully you will hear, You may start the vehicle. At this time, the determinator will allow the vehicle to engage the starter. If a positive alcohol sample is detected, you will hear, Invalid sample and you may retry after three minutes. If you hear invalid sample, it could mean that you just did not provide the proper pressure or you did not wait for the unit to warm up properly. This is gonna be an example of an improper blow so you can understand how this unit works. Please provide sample. Invalid sample, please wait. Okay, you saw that I didn't blow hard enough on the first test. Please retry sample. Now the second sample here, I'm going to provide the proper pressure. You may start the vehicle. While driving your vehicle, you will be asked to give several random rolling retests. The sample provided will be done exactly as you did originally. This is very important. If you are passing a car or going through a toll booth, you have ample time to provide this sample. Get your car in a safe lane at a safe speed and then provide the sample. Or you may choose to pull your car over to the side of the road and provide a sample while the vehicle is stopped. But you can provide that sample while you are driving. If you hear pull over and stop the vehicle, it means that no sample was provided or that alcohol was detected in the sample. Depending on the laws in your state, you could have your horn blowing and your lights flashing and they will continue to do so until you pull the vehicle over and shut it off. The only way that your vehicle will be restarted again is to have a driver providing a clean air sample. In that event, the system will tell you to return for service within five days. If not, you will be locked out. In the event that you have provided a clean air sample and your car stalls, you have a two minute free restart period in which no sample has to be provided. Do not use Listerine, Listerine strips, or any mouthwash that contains alcohol residues. Do not smoke at least 30 minutes before using these units. In the event your vehicle becomes locked down because you did not return for service or the unit recognized alcohol during an air sample, you must call the company that leased you the unit. Please provide the technician with your name and the serial number found on the back of the handheld module. You will then receive a call back with a five digit code consisting of a combination of the numbers one, two, and three found on your unit's cover. Remember, 
Once you have inputted the five-digit code, you must still provide a clean air sample in order to start your vehicle. Inputting this code will allow the vehicle to operate for a period of 24 hours, allowing you the time to return to your service center. This feature will save you the cost of towing or road service so you can quickly get back on the road. Please carefully read the instruction manual provided, and if you have any questions, contact your local distributor. Thank you.